CTV News at 6. Your home, your news. Here is Renu Bakshi. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. As the political turmoil grows in Iran, so does tension in our part of the world. Tens of thousands of Iranian Canadians are glued to televisions and the internet seeking any information about the worsening civil unrest. CTV Stephen Smart has more on their quest for answers. And a warning, some of the pictures you're about to see are graphic and may not be suitable for all viewers. It's, what do you think about what's happening? I just think it's unjust. Ramin Majuri is spending a lot of time in front of the television lately, the computer too, looking for any information about what's happening in his former home. I'm up every night until 2-3 o'clock in the morning and then up again at 5 o'clock trying to get news. And sometimes when news does come, it's almost too much. I've kept professional up to now, but this 14-second uh, video basically shook me up. A young girl shot, reportedly by Iranian police, the aftermath captured on cell phone video. And she wasn't even protesting. She was a bystander, according to our sources. And she's just shot through the heart and dies within two seconds. While horrifying, amateur videos like these provide one of the only ways to get information out of Iran. Since the uprising began, much of the country's communications network has been down. Even Majuri, who publishes a Persian newspaper, is having trouble connecting with his people on the ground. We've been out of contact since last Friday. Today he made contact and sent me some new pictures and also uh, was telling me what's going on in Iran. What's going on is things are getting worse. Mass demonstrations, bloodshed, fallout from a disputed election between incumbent President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad and challenger Mir Hussein Mosavi. These scenes are eerily familiar to Majuri, who witnessed the 1979 Iranian Revolution before he immigrated to Canada. I mean, everybody is worried. People have uh, family there. Yeah? They can't get word out. They can't get word in. So all in all, it's, it's a terrible situation. And worse than what Iranian Canadians are seeing going on is what they don't know, uncertainty over what will happen next. People in Iran are actually saying Magbar Khamenei, which means death to Khamenei. That hasn't been said. It was inconceivable to, to think that the people one day would actually say that. So uh, where it goes from here, nobody knows. Your guess is as good as mine. And Stephen Smart joins us now with more. Stephen, how are Iranians in Vancouver voicing their views on this crisis? Well, Renu, we've seen some sizable and very vocal protests by Canadians of Iranian descent, both groups in support of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad and those behind the challenger, Mousavi. But there's also a third group making their presence felt. They'll be at Canada Place later on this evening for a silent protest. Now, that's for the safety of the Iranian people. Because as you can see in those images out of Iran, no matter which political side you're on, the risk for further bloodshed is very real. Renu. Thank you. We'll be covering that for CTV News at 11.30. Thanks, Stephen.